Let us now start answering example number 3. If the first n terms of the sequence 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on are added, how many terms give a sum of 126? Again, let's first start with writing down the given. Your first term according to the problem is 9. And the sum of the terms is 126 and you need the common difference. The common difference is obtained by subtracting 12 and 9. So 12 minus 9 that is 3. So the common difference is 3. If you would like to make sure you can also use 15 minus 12 that is 3. 18 minus 15 that is also 3. So the common difference is 3. And we are looking for the number of terms. How many terms has the sum of 126? Now let's solve. We'll be, we will be using the formula S sub n is equal to n over 2 quantity 2 a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Now let's substitute. The sum of the terms is 126. And you are looking for the value of n. How many terms are there? Over 2. Quantity 2 times a sub 1 is 9. Plus n is still missing. Minus 1 times the common difference which is 3. Next from here, you have to cross multiply. In which you have to multiply 126 and 2. So you have 126 times 2 is equal to n quantity. 2 times 9, that is 18, plus distribute 3. 3 times n, 3n. 3 times negative 1, that is negative 3. Next, 126 times 2. You have 252. So 252 is equal to n times, and you have to combine, combine 18n negative 3. 18 minus 3, that is 15, plus 3n. Continuing the process, 252 is equal to n times 15, 15n. And n times 3n is 3n squared. As you can observe, you already have squared here. Which means this equation leads to a quadratic equation. Therefore, we have to equate it to 0. So 0 is equal to n arranging it from highest uh, degree to the lowest degree. 3n squared plus 15n. And from here, you have positive 252, but it will go to the other side of the equation. So, it will become negative 252. So, if there's a quadratic equation, that means you have to solve for n by factoring the given quadratic equation. But before factoring it, if you will observe, if you have 3n squared plus 15n, plus 15n minus 252 is equal to 0. This equation is divisible by 3. So let's first simplify the equation by dividing everything by 3. And 3 divided by, uh, 3n squared divided by 3, that is n squared. That is n squared. 15n divided by 3, that is positive 5n. And negative, negative 252 divided by 3, that is negative 84. And this is simply 0. Now, there is a quadratic. Therefore, you have to factor it. You can solve it by factoring it. Now, let's factor. In factoring, you just simply need to focus on the last term. Our last term is... Our last term is negative 84. So we will be focusing on negative 84. 
negative 84. You have to think of the factors of 84. Say, so let's begin by dividing it by 2. 84 divided by 2, that is 42. How about dividing it by 3? 84 divided by 3, that is 28. By 4, you have 21. If you have 6, 14. And if you have 7, we have 12. Now next, observe that the, one that the number that you are factoring is negative. Therefore, you have to subtract these two factors since 84 is negative. So 42 minus 2, that is 40. 23 minus, uh, 28 minus 3, 25. 21 minus 4, 17. 14 minus 6 is 8. 12 minus 7 is 5. Now next, let's go back to the equation. Your goal is to get a positive 5 here. You need to get a positive 5. Now, which among the factors of 84 gives you 5? That is 12 and 7, correct? 12 minus 7, that is 5. So, arranging it in a factored form, the factors of n squared is simply n and n, because n times n, that is n squared. Now, next, let's put 12 and 7. Now look at the sign of posit uh, 5. The sign of 5 is positive. The sign, of, the sign of 5 is positive. Therefore, the bigger factor will be positive and the lower factor will be negative. So those are the factors of negative 84. So n squared plus 5 and minus 84 is equal to 0. By factoring, you will now have n plus 12 quantity n minus 7. Now let's solve for, solve for n. If n plus 12 is equal to 0, and n minus 7 is equal to 0. And n plus 12 is equal to 0, just simply equate 12 to the other side n is equal to, from positive 12, it will become negative 12. And same with this, n is equal to, from negative 7, it will become positive 7. Now remember that the domain of every sequence is always a non-negative number. That means every, every value of n is always positive. So which among the two values of n is acceptable? Is it the negative 12 or 7? 7, because 7 is the positive 1. Therefore, if the sum of the sequences is 126, then n is equal to 7. Now we're done. So that is example number 3. This is now example number 3.